up here on the ski? Like, are you uh, on you, the front of the ski? Yeah, like on the kind of the, the turning part of the ski. Yeah, yes. like uh, at the start of the turn, I definitely uh, want to feel uh, that I'm traveling a little bit towards the momentum. I have a tendency yes. to move inside a little bit quick and I lose support. So I want to travel towards the balance point for a little while. Yeah. Once I feel it, then I'm going to go, but I have a tendency to diverge a bit quick. Okay. So uh, that's the uh, one of the uh, stuff I'm working on. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Another uh, another element that uh, like has been. I enter uh, the office of the osteopath uh, three years ago, and I couldn't walk. Like my back was totally destroyed. Uh -huh. And then she told me, "You don't. You hurt your back because you're skiing a lot, uh -huh. and you don't understand how your body works. And when you hurt, you you listen a lot." Like to uh, what people have to tell you. So I said, okay, I'm uh, I'm listening. So she told me uh, you need to engage the center of your body if you want to protect your back. So she said there's a specific way to do this. Uh, and she says like if you anchor the middle of your body through a concept called the centering, uh, you're gonna have uh, like uh, loose extremities. You're gonna be available at the Extremities, uh -huh. but you're going to be strong in the middle of your body yeah and she says there's a specific way so we got to uh, get rid of the word contract contraction it's not contracting uh, the abdominal it's not uh, <laughs> right so what you do is uh, you hold a fart and you bring the belly in towards your spine yeah so by doing that you engage uh, pelvic floor and transverse abdominal yeah so you Basically, you anchor the middle of your body. Yeah. So once you have that, once the middle's anchored, you can have you're available at the extremities, yeah. and you can do whatever. It, it's, so for you, is it a conscious like when you push off for your runner, you, you set up the yeah. floor? And the first goes. step, like I'm going straight, yeah. and uh, before I even start turning, I engage, I anchor the middle. Yeah. And once it's anchored, it's anchored a little. But it's gonna it's gonna be functional afterwards. Am I gonna do a very um, like a performance turn or a little bit more of an easier turn? Yeah. So after that, the engagement comes from the breathing. Like uh, it, it's um, that's a, that engagement can be controlled with the dimmer. You know, like uh, the dimmer. Uh, like uh, you like want the light really strong yeah. over the dining table, yeah, yeah, really yeah. low. So you the more you exhale, the more you engage. And uh, like uh, that's a little bit the idea. So I'm gonna exhale to um, feel some uh, some uh, some uh, power on my outside foot. And the more I exhale, the more I engage this. Uh -huh. And uh, the more I engage this, the idea it's a bit like uh, imagine I have a, a marionette in front of me, uh -huh. very uh, like uh, uh, all uh, everything's hold with strings. Yes. And I take the waist of the marionette yeah. with my hand here, so I solidify the middle. Yeah. And imagine like the leg is hanging underneath like this. Yeah. If I draw a circle with this, yeah. like the leg will will follow. Like I like the idea of the marble that rolls in a bowl. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like I just want to anchor the middle. Yeah. So I can work with good. looser yeah. extremities. Yeah, like one. something I've been working a lot this year. It's not to create tension in the articulation when I'm uh, like tipping the ski on the side. I want to keep the articulation available uh, and I really try not to create a blockage when I tip the ski on the side. Okay. So I solidify the middle to get looser in the extremities. Okay. And that's not only in skiing, like the guy on the defense line in football, yeah. when he's about to get hit, yeah. It's going to use that to anchor the middle yeah. and it's going to exhale when he's going to get hit. Yeah. Or in fighting sports, yeah. like it comes from the middle. You anchor the middle and then you're going to exhale yeah. as you punch to gain some power. Yeah. So to me, like, uh, it, there's a, especially when the snow is uh, difficult, uh, like uh, uh, hard snow bumps yeah. and stuff, like yeah. the goal is to keep... Uh, 
the, the goal to keep balance, like if I glide and I have center of mass, base of support that travel at the same speed, uh -huh. I'm balanced. Uh -huh. So I try to keep that balance through a discipline in the middle of my body. Okay. Let's say I hit a, a bump and I'm weak here. Uh -huh. uh, maybe I'll have a tendency to uh, die on the trough. So I'll have like the mass accelerating, the base slowing down. Uh -huh. For sure, there might be different causes for that. Uh -huh. But definitely when you get in trouble, I want to be engaged in the, uh, in the core yeah. just to make sure that I Maybe have uh, in, a little bit better in, balance. In the right spot, that's good. And I, like I get that. out of trouble. I like that. And that principle, it touches a lot of, it touches the all planes of balance. Like for example, like we said, like I, I'll, let's do it. Like if I just disengage the core as loose as possible, and then I manipulate the base. Yes. Okay, so there's no balance there. Right. Versus now, like, hold the fart, bring the belly yeah. in. Yeah. And by solidifying the middle of the body, like the two pieces, base of support, yeah. center of mass, they work together. That's good. And sometimes in skiing, like, you're going to hit a pile of snow, and yeah. then, like, it's going to be, yeah. a, like, shocks. And yeah. a, so, to me, yeah, that's good. It, it's a, it plays a big role in the balance. Yeah. And uh, one thing that the, uh, like those kinesiologists and osteopaths told me also, if you hold the breath, it's yeah. very dangerous, especially like uh, when you're in phase three, you have a lot of power on the ski. If yeah. you hold the breath, there's a lot of pressure inside your body. It would be easy if you have a bit of an issue with your stance, it would be easy to hurt. Yeah. You've got to get the air out of there yeah. to release the pressure from inside the body. <sighs> and you get that air out, yeah. it engages the center, and it makes you a lot more powerful. Yeah. I even, like, I don't go too deep with, uh, like, lower end skier with that, but even a beginner, just telling him to feel the right, the right foot and excel at the same time will produce a lot smoother movements than trying to hold the breath and uh -huh. like balance on the thing and having a lot of tension. So uh -huh. I've, I've had a lot of success with, uh, with this. Uh -huh. And at the lower end level, just exhaling as you steer engages the center of your body and helps a lot. It helps uh, like four and a half, yes. It can help your vertical balance too. Like for example, on the, on the vertical plane, I try to be in suspension versus in compression. So the idea, I, kind, I uh, solicitate the middle of the body in order to keep my structure versus if this is disengaged and I press on your shoulder, like yeah, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Versus uh, if you engage that core properly, like the structure is much stronger. Mm -hmm. I still have the suspension in the leg, but the strength is in the middle of the body. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So. It touches lateral balance too. Yeah. Like on the lateral plane, if I'm weak here, I'll have a tendency to tip in. Yeah. Versus stronger here, I'm going to be able like to free fall the lower body. Yeah. But by keeping, keeping an engagement here, yeah. I maximize the balance on the outside ski. Yeah. And finally, it helps the rotary balance. Like if I apply a steering effort without uh, engaging the middle, I'm rotating yeah. versus engage the middle, I'll be able to work a little bit more yeah. with separation. Yeah. So I, I played a lot with this. I try to keep it simple. I don't want the people to become too internal and get inside their body and thinking about those details. Yeah. I just tell them, just like go down and feel like, uh, you know, the Robaxa set uh, medication, yeah, that yeah. character on yeah. it. Yeah. Like I tell them like, try to, Make sure uh, like you're all loose in the extremities, uh -huh. engage the middle and ski a bit like a marionette instead of trying to have tension. Fix it. Yeah. If yeah, you yeah. do have tension in the extremities, yeah. it's because, okay, there's different cause. Maybe you're not uh, like uh, centered, you're in or whatever. But very often if the extremity is tense, mm -hmm. it's because the center is weak. So I try to put some stability in mm -hmm. the middle, center strong, mm -hmm. to be available at the extremities. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's so good stuff. 
one of the yeah. stuff I've been playing with and yeah. I've been exchanging with different professionals about this and they all agree like that's the way to do it. I hurt myself three years ago putting a plate in the dishwasher. Like I just bend yeah. and I never came back up. So they say the uh, the uh, the trunk. Yeah. Can you say trunk? Yep. It's not designed to uh, bend everywhere under pressure. So yeah. when you do uh, have to uh, like bend this, yeah. you gotta protect protect it, yeah, all this it. here but by centering and by anchoring yeah. it. So that's that's pretty important. This is good. Yeah, good stuff. So let's ski. Yeah. Should we try? Should we try down here? Yeah, let's go. Talk them down to Garbanzo. Yeah, it's yeah. time to.